Okay, I'm on Dartmoor today. The sun's right in my eyes, see if we can get. No. It's a bit better. Yeah, I'm on Dartmoor, planned for a two night, two day backpacking trip, just heading up uh, Bellstone now. And uh, just travelled down on Friday, it's about 6 30 now. So I'm looking for a place to camp and. Uh, Plan is to go on to Walton Tour tomorrow and camp there. I uh, might explore a bit further south of Walton Tour, but uh, we'll see how the time goes. So let's get up Bellstone. It's really warm. Yeah, could be a good one. This is the top of Bellstone, that's looking north. And that's south, I think. And we camp over there. The wind's supposed to pick up a bit in the night. But... Okay, I reckon I found a spot here. But let's just uh, investigate further and see if we can. I'm just gonna go down the hill a bit and see if there's anything better. Well, there's one lamb that didn't make it. Okay, I reckon here looks good. It's flatter than the rest. Now I just gotta go and get my gear up the hill. There's home for the night. Got back all the gear in now. Unfortunately, the, uh, the flattest place is the shadiest place. But oh well. Got to go with what I got. All right, all right. Oh. Uh, bugs are starting to come out a bit. Hopefully, the wind will keep them at bay. It's, uh, it's time to get some food on the go. Pasta and pesto with salami tonight. It's pretty good. It's a nice view of uh, Steepton Tor over there as well. It's just that's Steepton there, I think. Salami and cheese is cut up, pesto is ready to go. Pasta's boiling, just needs a bit longer. It's about eight o'clock, so I'm, I'm pretty hungry. A bit of a uh, rubbish ride, drive down even, sorry. Oh, 
normally only takes about three hours and it took about, oh Christ knows, four and a half, five? I'd say four and a half. Anyway, never mind, I'm here now. It's all good. But yeah, looking forward to my dinner. Waiting on that old pesto in. <laughs> the old lens is getting steamed up, I think. Slowly at the same time. Just like everything in. Like it. There we are. Jobs are good. Let's get it down my head. Pronto! Time for a slightly chilo pesto y induced uh, hot chocolate. I think we're pretty much there. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Calm yourself. Gonna get my head down now. It's uh, it's about ten-ish, and uh, yeah, it's chilling off a fair bit, clear sky, but uh, should be all right. Not right down by the river, so hopefully I made a wise decision there. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Okay, so it's morning. It's a pretty chilly night, but uh, I mean I was warm enough, but uh, it's dead clear sky, so no cloud cover but it's warming up already and it's only about seven might be a short stay today let's, uh... anyway let's get a brew on and get some breakfast so that's breakfast on the go just uh, tea and some penny chocolates three of them some simples all right second brew of the day and Drink this and then I guess we better pack up and do some hiking. I know we've got plenty of time but Yeah. I'm trying to think of something intelligent to say. <laughs> Coming up short. <laughs> Alright, right, all packed up. Everything's packed a bit different, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now to start the hike. Just a quick check, make sure I haven't left anything important behind, and then we're off. Alright. Okay, so that's Oak Tor. Oh, I've heard some people pronounce it Oaky Tor, but I'm pretty sure it's just the old English way of uh, spelling oak, but who knows. That's where we come from over there. And by trying to be smooth. We're heading over that way. Stone Hill, made it. Heading up through this peak cut, it uh, avoids the uh, boggy rubbish on the, uh, the ridge and then it rejoins the ridge. And I can tell you from experience, it's no fun <laughs> going for that boggy stuff. So, making good time. Not that there's any. Uh, 
rush, I haven't set too an ambitious target, so yeah, it's all good. Getting through the food, <laughs> so it's getting lighter. I've brought plenty of it, and the weather's ideal warm enough, but not too hot. Keeping the insects at bay as well, the old wind. So ideal. Right, I'm leaving the danger zone now. So I should be safe. Obviously there's no live fire in today, otherwise I wouldn't be in there. Saw a couple of lizards, but it was a bit slow on the, on the draw to get them on the, on the camera. But uh, hopefully we get some later. Yeah. Alright, just got across this bad boy. Normally I just wade through it, but so far I've got dry feet, so let's see if we can... Ah, I think I spotted a root. Across there. Alright, I have to put the camera away for this. Okay, so here's the old uh, stone circles that uh, Dartmoor is pretty famous for. Uh, see if I can get a bit higher and you see sort of both of them. <laughs> side trip up to Waterfall. Um, yeah, I've made pretty good progress so it's only about half twelve so got plenty of time so this waterfall I've camped up before but probably like ten, at least ten maybe even fifteen years ago so bit of a trip down memory lane. Alright there we go it's not massive but it's been about 15 years since I've been here last. Time for a cup of tea, I reckon. Alright, tea's on the go. You can hear me, it's a bit windy. Doesn't much of the boil. This is Teen Farm, so we have a bit of a shade break here and a nosy about. Let's see what we can see. So yeah, through the front gate. <laughs> Here's the main farm building. Short in those days. <laughs> the other sections there. Pretty remote place. This is Walton Tour, and now we've got to find somewhere reasonably sheltered, reasonably flat, and reasonably f free of sheep doings. Let's see if we can uh, achieve the holy trifecta. 
Okay, got a spot for the tent. Took a bit of doing. There's not much uh, flat or poofery ground around, but uh, it's up now. So, got to get some water now. All right. So that's what we're looking at. Wanted to cl camp closer to the uh, tour, but uh, so it's not. It's a bit thin on uh, decent spots. So this is what we got. Okay, so dinner's on the go. Pasta again with salami and cheese, but with uh, more standard pesto, so we'll see how that fares. It's cooking on the rock here because it's, uh, it's a little bit easier than in the tent. It's a bit sheltered. There we go, it doesn't look too bad. It's quite a big old portion. But I am hungry, so win-win. Managed the mountain of pasta. Now I'm on hot, onto hot chocolate, and I'll probably have a cup of tea as well after that, and then have a mince around this tour and see what I can find. So that's the way back home over there tomorrow. So not too far to go. Alright, catch you in the morning. Okay, it's morning now. It's uh, a little bit misty and hazy out, but not too bad. You can see where you, where you want to go. Um, yeah, it's pretty warm, real reasonably warm in the night, warmer than the previous night. Um, yeah, pretty knackered after yesterday. It's, uh, but I'm a bit sad that. Uh, and going home as well, so there's that. But uh, only a couple of hours to do, back to the car. I might hit up the local uh, cafe for the, uh, see what offerings they got. Okay, all right, all packed up. Now, just got a head. Just about to see the biggest one, that's uh, Cosden Hill. We're just going to turn off just before that. Down into Bellstone. It's been raining for a bit, but uh, seems to have held off. Alright, I reckon that's it for this trip. On the uh, lizard front, I saw about five lizards and didn't manage to get any of them on film. There you go. So it's been a good trip, and I'm looking forward to some more. Catch you later. That's where the stick people don't clear up half themselves. They get pelted with rock hard cow dung. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs>